I'm gonna share a lot of tips and my experience on run and gun shooting today. The run begins. Let's run down. Let's go. Oh my. Running, running, running. Running again. The running team. You have to. <laughs> no one tells you you gotta be fit to do this job, but you have to. So let's see if you still wanna be a video maker. Let's roll. Ciao belly, how are you today? Mamo here, thanks for tuning in again. Forgive me, this is gonna be a long video, but you know how much I love to share my experience with you. And I love to show you also what happens on real video shoots and video jobs. So I hope this video will help you somehow in the future. Today, the matter of discussion will be the run and gun shooting. So what is it? Leaving the hotel, ride to Mount of Olives, set up for first interview, first interview, run, second interview, run, forest, run, third interview, ride to Bethlehem, filming, ride back to Jerusalem, filming B-roll in Jerusalem, filming more B-roll, filming even more B-roll, editing. Yep, that's more or less what happens on a run and gun shoot. In short, run and gun shootings are those kind of jobs where there's not much preparation behind. Oh, wow. Usually a company has a rough idea of what they want to achieve with the video, but there's not really a story, a defined story or a script or a storyboard. And usually the budget for this project is quite low. Basically, they just send you a location and now it's all up to you. Okay, let's see what we can do. All this means also that the story will come to life more in the video editing process. But let me give you an example and let's go back to Jerusalem in general. Basically, I've been hired to film the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, for three days here uh, in Jerusalem and around Jerusalem for some videos for Easter and Lent 2020. Now, in this case, Justin Welby was in Jerusalem for some meetings and the organization that sent me for the videos also wanted to squeeze in his schedule a couple of messages to camera to create two out of the four videos they had in mind. My duty here, apart from recording these messages, was also to document through the lens everything that was happening in those days and then create a story that could actually make sense in post-production. Key fact, be ready to run. And I mean it, literally. So the run begins, Tim is here. Uh, we had lunch in 30 minutes and now <laughs> I'm grabbing the stuff, filming stuff and we need to run. We have five minutes. So, tight schedules as always. When you're in a job like this, the first thing you want to have is a brief. Another tip guys, um, if you don't know the schedule, ask the producer or whoever is in charge what kind of thing is happening because you need to be ready with accordingly with your gear. So uh, make sure you know what's going on and when and where. The brief will give you an idea of what gear to use, so about the lens, the microphone, if there will be an interview, a dual interview, if you will have time to set up a gimbal and so on. So guys, I'm realizing um, how I don't use the gimbal. So for these kind of shoots, definitely not the best tool because we're always in the run, I don't have time to, to set it up. So I always keep the camera with the tilt -a cage and yeah, ready to go basically, handheld. Again guys, T uh, we need to be ready as soon as we get to Mount of Olives today so I'm setting up the camera on the bus because uh, we're gonna film the Archbishop first thing as soon as we get off the bus so setting up now the tripod and the microphone as well ready to go so we had a quick brief this morning uh, before leaving and also end this brief in the Archbishop right now on the things we need to film basically oh, sorry <laughs> Uh, well, kind of. <laughs> okay. I need uh, two minutes. How tall are you? Uh, I'm about the same height as you. Why should I just stand here in the fakely yes. decorative? <laughs> so, guys, again, that's the amount of time you have for this kind of stuff. Literally two minutes. So, set up. I was a bit late with the microphones. I should have done it on the bus. Uh, but it was a quick ride. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you for your patience. Thank you very much. Pack up again. Running again. Chasing the archbishops, guys. Why? Wow, it's packed with tourists already and camels. But knowing the brief doesn't only help you with the gear, but also is important so that you can anticipate your subject and be ready to film them at any time. I used to be afraid to 
run in front of my subjects, in particular if they are celebrities or, you know, VIPs, but in the end, think in this way. They are used to camera people, first of all. Second, you are paid to do this and they know you're going to be there. And third, showing faces is much more engaging than shoulder shots. All right, guys, try to stay ahead all the time. As you're going through the brief, also ask what the situation with the permission is. In terms of filming, I, no one really bothers, so I keep filming with a big camera here and two lenses. And yeah, no one really, no one really cares. There is no worse feeling than being on a set, I'm telling you, ready to go, all set to film, and then you get kicked out because you didn't have one. We had a um, um, next we're going to very sudden permission to film. We didn't have any permission before, so uh, we got the green light and we are doing some filming okay. in the so Garden of Gethsemane. Yes. Yep, and sometimes you can get a permission in real time on the spot, so that is quite great. Oh, it's okay. So guys, we didn't have the permission to film, but we got one <laughs> in the place. Now, here comes the queen of the tip, guys. Uh, film as much as you can. Film also when you are out of the scheduled events. Got a couple of hours before going back to the guest house to meet the guys. So I've got a couple of hours to get some B-roll around. Usual tip, guys. Always, always explore. Go in places where no one goes, where you find the best photography spots and you know hidden alleys all the kind of stuff like this quick tip when you see very traditional stuff and there's some modern things are, uh, around it like this switch for example try to cut it off from the frame like so. So instead of taking it like that, just go this way. Make the most out of the time you have, either for the project and for yourself. And that's what I do every time I travel anyway. Think that you will be in this unique location once in your life. So literally you wanna take whatever you can. I love traveling. For example, I stayed in Israel for this project for three days only and then I extended my trip for another week and I always kept these videos in mind so whenever I was seeing something that could fit in the video I was just stopping and taking it with the camera basically like these funny clips. So I got four donkeys. This is a perfect shot for the nativity or for some Easter video. Let, let's do it. Oh, it's coming. And tip. When you're hired for a job, you need to do whatever you can to achieve the purpose of the of the job. So uh, that's a good way for people to uh, think that you're reliable and they can trust you. And the next time they're gonna call you again. So big tip that one. Oh look, gnomes. Weird. So I found this terrace up here in the city and I'm trying to cover the, the camera. We're doing a time lapse over this beautiful view. Remember also that you might be filming in a location where you've never been, so you don't really know the location and you need to film in a very small amount of time, like 20 or 30 minutes sometimes. So you have to be a quick thinker and create a story in that amount of time, which is actually challenging, but that's the fun part. Here we are at the Sea of Galilee, which is actually a lake further north from Nazareth. Let's try to take this shot, guys. So Isabel is walking through this piece of land and we take a shot through the trees. Yes, can you do the exactly the same thing, kneel down and touch the water, the whole action. Sometimes the environment and the settings really don't offer much, so think what could make that shot more interesting. Like in this example, uh, Isabel was walking through the bushes. The location was nothing special, the bushes were very boring from the distance, but for example, place the subject inside the bushes and boom, now you have your character struggling through the desert, looking for a way out.
tip. If your video is about a specific person, my tip is to try to have a few minutes interview with this character. A few words always help the story to be told in a better way than just B-roll. And if you can, film this interview in the same location of the B-roll. That will help the overall story and it will blend better with the B-roll. So right guys, we are in St. George's Cathedral now. We're gonna have a short message to come from uh, by the Archbishop Justin Welby. So I'm setting up uh, my XLR microphone into the black magic, finding a nice spot for, the, for this uh, kind of interview message. Also be on location uh, a few minutes before the interview or before the event because you need to set up the gear and make sure everything works out. Also, if you're using the microphone, make sure the microphone is, is it's done. So the cable is done as well and untangled. So when your subject is arriving, you just put the mic on and that's it basically. One, two, one, two. Always test the audio as well. Hello, hello. Mic test. As you're talking about audio, here is an extra tip. If you are filming guys, also take into consideration the audio, never forget how the audio, how important the audio is. So we were in the church before and we heard some people singing, so uh, we tried to grab the audio that can be useful for video editing and post-production too. So what are the pros and cons of the run and gun shooting? If you film with celebrities or VIP, remember they have a very tight schedule, which means long and tiring days and also some editing might be required for the same or for the next day. Welcome to the office. Time for bed, actually time to check some footage and do some color grade and then time for bed. It's been a great day, tiring. Tomorrow is gonna be even better. We're going to Bethlehem, the Mount of Olives, so stay tuned. I was saying guys, the thing with these kind of jobs is you're always rushing, so you don't have really time to set up the shots, but also, and also not to focus on what you're seeing, so. For example, we went to historical places like Bethlehem or the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem and I have no recollections of these places because I was focusing on my camera and I was focusing in filming. So unfortunately, you don't really leave the moment and the place. So guys, we are in the Holy Sepulchre, trying to film as much as I can. The good things about these kind of jobs though is that you access places where not many people uh, can go. So. That is great. Unfortunately, also, I have no idea what I'm filming and where I'm going, so I should have done some more research. So that's a tip. And I don't have a guide, so I'm just freestyling, going through the city and film what I think it's worth. Let's talk about the gear. Oh, I love talking about the gear, you know that. As a way for the team, I'm gonna set up the gear, the camera gear. I'm not sure if you wanna beat me right now. Be ready for any kind of situation again, for a dual interview, be ready with your filters, with your lenses, uh, gimbals, tripod, whatever you can carry in your backpack or suitcase, do it. For this project, for example, I had a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with 1635 Canon uh, Mark III, Samyang 10 millimeters, Canon 7200 Mark III, f2.8, this is a NEF 3.1. Full tilter cage with handle. Tilter V-mount plate. This is a base plate that goes under the cage with two V-mount batteries. Atomos Shinobi monitor with HDMI cable. And this is the power cable from the V-mount batteries to the Blackmagic. DJI Ronin S gimbal stabilizer. Monfrotto portable tripod. A bit of audio gear. I've got the Rode micro, video micro mic and two lapel mics in these small bags just in case of a dual interview. Uh, long extension cable for XLR to mini XLR because the Blackmagic only take the mini XLR and uh, jack, mini jack as well. Blackmagic with tilter cage and Atomos monitor, Rode mic. Uh, ready to go. Okay, in terms of what I do when, I, when I'm doing this kind of filming, I've got a belt around my waist with two uh, lenses, lenses cases, like that, and 
yeah, I just keep switching lenses basically. So as you guys seen, I had to switch my lens to a 10 millimeter lens because we were in a tight space with seven people. So it's always good to have a different range of lenses as well. Okay, correct. You can never have enough lenses. This man knows. He knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <sorry>. Right. <laughs> Tip have filming presets saved in your camera already so you can switch between them uh, just with the push of a button basically create some for low light conditions different frame rates different resolution and so on Whew, guys we made it i wish someone gave me a lot of these tips when i started jokes apart i hope the video is going to be helpful somehow if it does consider to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down here below to show me some love I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and until the next video, God bless you. We really need it in these days. So see you soon. Take care. Seems all good time